Hey Pisces, what it do? <laughs> so Pisces, it's going to be a love reading for you guys. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Also check your Jupiter North Node with signs in your seventh house. It's not going to resonate with every single Pisces energy that watches. Take what resonates and leave the rest. All right. Um, personal readings in the description box. I'm not taking all those. Um, personal readings in the description box. Um, hit that like, hit that subscribe, Pisces. It's greatly appreciated. Okay. So, we have passion. Okay, so if someone has some passion for you, Pisces, or you have some passion for someone, vice versa. Separation. Okay, someone you're separated from right now. Let's get some more overall energy for Pisces. Oop, deception. See, we just saw that one. And we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. All right, Pisces. Let's see what's going on with you guys. I can already see where this is going. <laughs> All right, y'all. Hmm, the death card. Ooh, with the queen of wands on the bottom. So Pisces, you might be losing interest from someone. Oh, interest from someone. You might be losing interest in a person. The, um... Uh, king of pentacles so you may be separated from uh an earth sign particularly a taurus Ooh, man <laughs> what is going on pisces all right um okay yeah someone wants to reconcile the world comes out clarifying Heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Ooh, the death card is here, too. Ooh, Pisces. So, Pisces, you've ended a situation or someone else ended it. Take it how it resonates, okay? This this is also Scorpio energy. So, it could just be someone that has Scorpio in the chart, okay? Um, why is this death card here? Ooh, the chariot. Wow. And if you look at both of these cards, Pisces, they're both on horses. And they're both kind of, uh, well, this one's galloping forward. This one has a white horse and a black horse um, on it. So whoever this is, uh, I feel like Pisces, they, they don't want uh, the separation. They don't want to be separated from you. Um... And again, I feel like Pisces, this is someone that might be very, very passionate about you. Page of Pentacles comes out with the King of Wands. Could be a fire sign as well. Um, Pisces. Hmm. Pisces, this person might not be where you are financially. Ooh. Some of y'all dealing with a Scorpio, uh, Pisces. Okay. Okay, or Capricorn with the three of pentacles on the bottom. So Pisces, yeah. So I feel like someone doesn't want it, this to be over with you. They don't want things to be over, even though uh, you might feel like um, it's over, Pisces. Pisces, this person may have lied to you about something, and that may have that may have been like the icing on the cake for you to completely leave this person alone. Um, or you felt like they lied to you about something. Um, yeah, this I'm seeing a lot of passion here. This this person is very, very uh, physically attracted to you, Pisces. I mean, very, very much so. Mm. Crazy. Hold on, y'all. All right, Pisces. So, um, yeah, I feel like... Um, this person is very, very physically attracted to you. Um, but I'm also picking up, you may have, um, I'm not taking all these, but dang, the Ten of Swords came out again, y'all. The Sun, the Queen of Wands again, and the Seven of Pentacles. 
man Pisces <laughs> yeah you're, you're definitely dealing with someone that uh, is very very passionate about you I get here though with this death card in the chariot I feel like oh the chariot again on the bottom y'all <laughs> So I feel like Pisces, this person wants to um, move forward with you, um, despite you might not uh, wanting to, Pisces. This energy to me gives me two different things. The first thing is, um, it could be that this person is confident about transforming y'all's connection and actually coming back around to be a better person. But this can also be someone that just refuses to move on from you, Pisces. Uh, because they, they're kind of stuck on how great things were in the past, if that makes sense. Or it could be you, Pisces. You could be stuck on, you know, how great things were in the past. Yeah. Three of Cups comes out. Two of Cups comes out. Yeah. With the Justice on the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, Pisces, I feel like this person wants... They are confident that they can fix whatever this is, even though you might not feel the same way. Okay, you might not feel the same way as they do about fixing it. They they're confident they can fix it. You're you're not so much, and, it, and things could be vice versa, Pisces. But this is just how I'm seeing it. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, we're seeing that ten of cups again. <laughs> yeah, Pisces. They have hope that this can be fixed. Yeah, nine of cups on the bottom of the deck. They have hope that, that you guys can reconcile and fix things. Um, they're they're kind of seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. So I was wondering about this Ten of Swords here. Um, I feel like Pisces, This it took this person a while to come back around. And I feel like the deception is here because this person may not have um, expressed to you how much they did want to be with you and how much they did want to build with you. If that makes sense and I feel like with this two of Pentacles on the bottom I feel like they didn't prioritize the connection they may have been really focused on their finances um, Pisces over the connection okay they didn't prioritize you they didn't prioritize um, yeah oh not taking all these but it could be a Gemini because I saw the lovers earlier the lovers comes out the temperance the hangman the ten of pentacles the seven of cups the five of pentacles the page of cups yeah pisces this person is going to come back around like i said they're confident that they can fix this but th this can also be that they're stuck on the good times that y'all had in the past and they want to go back to that they want to go back to um how things were before and pisces you might not you might not feel the same way about them oh yeah i knew we were going to see something like this the two of wands guys pisces you might be already entertaining somebody else at this point or this or this is something that they have entertained in their mind the eight of wands comes out yeah you <laughs> i feel like the fact that oh y'all look the two of wands is over here as well I feel like Pisces, this is what is going to trigger this person to come back around is the fact that they might, they think you might be with somebody else. Yep. And they're going to try to come in and, and swiftly, quickly, like I said, could be a Leo, fire sign, Scorpio, water sign, cancer, that's a water sign, Scorpio. Yeah. Lots of water energy here. Like you, Pisces. Or yeah, earth sign or Taurus as well. Yep, yep, see, yeah, yeah, Pisces. Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Yep, could be an apology coming for some of you. Seven of Swords comes out. Mm hmm. Two of Swords, yeah, they're trying to figure out how to come back around. Yep, Six of Wands comes out. They're trying to come back around to be victorious, trying to figure out a way to come back around to be victorious. Because the Seven of Swords can also be about being, being strategic. So when I see this card with the Two of Swords, I feel like they're trying to decide on how to come back around and how to fix this. Because they want to be victorious with you, um, Pisces. And I feel like if you turn this person down, it, that may have affected their ego um, as well. Yeah. I'm also seeing, Pisces, this person might be a little bit overconfident. And I feel like you might shut this person down 
and they're going to be a lot more hurt than um than they show or this may have already happened you may have already turned this person down um and they're they are a lot more hurt about it than uh than they they say than they tell you they're going to come back though they know they have to try to come back around strategize um and come with a different a different plan because they want to talk to you with this heart to heart they want to actually have a decent conversation with you but i feel like for a lot of you they may have tried before and failed <laughs> oh geez okay i can't be apart from you much longer i'm coming do you ever think of me my heart is open and I'm ready. I'm not the same person I've changed. It better not be someone else on the bottom of it. I'm telling y'all, uh, Pisces, they think it's somebody else. And they ready to end whatever situation. If, if it's another person, they ready to get rid of that other person. This person's ego won't allow them to. Can we start over, please? <laughs> it's definitely dealing with a cancer, similar to cancer. Please tell me it's not over. Missing you by case. I let my friends or family get in my ear. Mm-hmm. That's for somebody. I know my pride and ego can be too much at times. Didn't I tell y'all this person has an ego problem? This person has an ego problem. I'm sorry for everything. Yeah, their their ego isn't going to let somebody else get get you. Can we at least be friends? Mm hmm. I think that's that won't that's going to be a front, uh, Pisces. That's not going to be legit. Ready for love by India Irene. If they do offer this friendship stuff, it's going to be the ultimate goal for the friendship thing. With the three of cups here, the death and the chariot is to build back up to what y'all had before. What about us by Eric Bellinger? This person might may want to be friends just so they can find out what you're doing. I wish I could tell you how I really feel. Yeah, that's I feel like that's that deception here. Um because of you by Neo. Let love replace fear. And your smile lights up my day. All right, Pisces. That's y'all's reading. If it resonated, hit that like, hit that subscribe, you guys. I appreciate y'all so very much for watching. And until next time, peace out.